Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's up, everybody? We're back to cover Netflix's original series, Love is Blind. This is season three. Uh, we have covered the first two seasons of the show, big fans, so we are obviously excited to be here to cover it. Um, if this is your first time watching our show, we just do a reaction week by week for these Netflix releases. It makes it a little bit easier, and we have a lot of other content during the week, so just a little bit less for you guys to have to digest. So, Love is Blind Season 3, Brian. I just think off the top, what a wild show this is, right? It's crazy. It's just a, this is the type of show people will point to to be like why they hate reality TV. Just like, because the premise is pretty I need long. to send this to aliens. <laughs> Like, you know, it is a ripoff of like, you know, uh, Married at First Sight or 90 Day Fiance, whatever. But this one is seven days engaged. You actually do have a little bit more of choice, though, which is why I like this better than a, a Married at First Sight. What do you think the waivers like? <laughs> I just honestly marvel at the production of this show, too. The amount of cameras and producers yeah. they must have running or really good producers to just be able to pick up quickly on or the night after what they do all these recordings to figure out what the good relationships are, because they have to dynamically be like scheduling and helping these people with these relationships over the 10 days. And that is a heavy undertaking. So, yeah. And one of, one of my favorite things to do, which I haven't even done yet is like what other people got engaged that we didn't see. Yeah. So we'll then, have that for next time, but uh, we did, cause we just watched it today. We Wednesday's our busiest day. Of, yeah, like, the, so we just haven't looked anything up. So, um, there's a lot we could go over. We're not going to go beat by beat, but we really just kind of like to uh, feel, give our impressions of the couples and kind of where we think they're going to go and just how they stand already <laughs> after the first few days together. Uh, we have SK and Raven. I don't know, man. I It, it looks like they could like build something. Mm, you don't think so? I just feel like she's got wandering eyes on him, man. I just don't know. I think she thinks he's boring. Yeah. I mean, it, this is like very similar to um, like last seasons with um, uh, the werewolf and uh, the the Christian crazy Christian girl, because like she picks somebody else. And uh, I, I don't know. It, it almost seems like it's like they always have that every season. There's always that one fringe couple. And of course they see each other and they're like, Oh wow. They're actually really good looking. I put, I have three categories and I'm going to just, we're going to, put them in and make consensus as we go for okay. week one is our prediction good iffy and ded dead okay i had sk raven in the ded dead really okay I, i'm gonna put him in the iffy you want to put him in the iffy so all right we'll go iffy then but we're gonna do this together so we'll go iffy uh next one this is just random order uh matt and colleen poor colleen she gets denied twice and yeah, then she did yeah do you think that'll affect them when they go back and watch that he was the third choice? Do you think he really doesn't care? No, because maybe he was floating around with somebody else. Yeah. Um, just real quick, did you watch the this like the previews for next week? Uh, not really, but okay, I, all right. I don't um, really care. Just looks like she gets involved in some drama, but I, that would have changed my mind because I actually thought they were like really solid. I had them as iffy. Okay, so let's stay with Iffy then. Based off of what I saw, I'll, I'll drop I it. I had them as Iffy. I just think that, again, the idea that she was turned down twice, he was not her first choice. And not saying that it doesn't mean he's good, it doesn't mean he wasn't looking around, but I do think when some of those other choices that turned you down may be around, that just kind of you start to wander your eye, and that's kind of what I think is going on with Raven a little bit with Bartice. You know, I, I think she's like, damn, like, Maybe I really got was a little rash with my decision. Yeah. Colleen, now she sees Cole, I'd say, and it's like, who is a like, strange dude, but yeah. So, wait, wait, before we move on, how about the guy who was like got married at like 18? I know dude, that's nuts. Like, when he told me that story, I was like, holy shit. That was uh, the guy was, with Colleen, the yeah, name, Matt, 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 yeah, yeah, like. Like, where do they find these people? High school sweethearts. They said they ran off to the courthouse. And, and then the married. first time she sleeps with somebody else, she gets pregnant. Like, what are the odds of that? That is a Maury type story. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Iffy, we have a two Iffies right now. Okay. Uh, let's do Z and Cole then. Um, Zenev and Cole. Mm. Uh, he's a weirdo. Yes. Tries too hard. Well, yeah. He, uh, 
Yeah, he's he's very interesting. Reminds me kind of of our of our boy from, from last, last season. season. Yeah, like you don't know where he's at. Yeah, exactly. I like um, her. I think she's actually really cool. I like her too, but she is a little that that stuff where like he was too quiet in the morning after they had hooked up a few times, and he's like I was tired. That was the only yeah. time I even felt for him a tiny bit. Yeah, but like her like weird cleanliness would like me and her would would gel there. That's I'm I'm oh. weird. You don't know that about me, Bill, but I like am weird about certain cleanliness things. Oh, good. Oh, like reality guy secret. Oh, like do you mean like the the rituals? No, more of like like I'm like like a like a Nazi in the kitchen about cleanness. Oh, that's fine. I don't think that's that bad. Uh, that so I have them as iffy. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's gonna be the same. Uh, okay, so we have Alexa and Brennan. <laughs> they're just like, they're fine. I just really, they remind me of Danielle and uh, yeah, Josh. Uh, the, 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 couple, the married couple that just broke up. Nick, J- Danielle and Nick. Yeah. Uh, just too different, right? Like that, like I think over time that may quickly just be like, yeah, they seemed like off the bat, like really like one of my power couples, but like like I agree with you, like it's gonna it's gonna fade. Once they get in the house, it's all but once they move in together, that's when it all goes downhill. So we got them as iffy as well. <laughs> Man, we're we are really loving everybody here. Bartis and Nancy. I like Bartis. Bartis's age came up way too much during the pod. Yeah. It's, the guy's it's not he's not twelve. He's twenty five years old. I really like Nancy. I actually like Nancy. I like Nancy too. Do we think there could be any trouble with Bartice's eyes towards? Uh, yeah. Raven? Yeah, because like it, it sounds like he was like, especially like when they went back and she was, he was like drunk and he's like, hey, why? Well, like she's like really hot. It's like, dude, that's like the absolute wrong thing to say. He like, said like people see him also they're like, why are they together? And then it's like he's like, dude. and then like we're together. Like, yeah. isn't that crazy? Right, because like I didn't think she had any doubt in it until that moment. Like if he never said that, I would. Because she's definitely she's a good looking girl, and like she, the, the, as soon as somebody, any, no matter how good looking you are, your your significant other says that about somebody else, you're obviously going to put doubt into her head, and it's like unfortunate. I'm that... close to rolling him on dead already. <laughs> yeah, it's they're going to stay iffy. So everybody right now is iffy. We have yeah. every all five couples is iffy right now. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but. I, I like to, it. I, I like them. Good. I like all the couples, though. I, I think they're entertaining, and um, I think the guys are more weird than the girls to me. Yeah, I like the girls better this year. Yeah, I like the guy, girls a lot. Uh, I do want to quickly just highlight a few <laughs> of the other things, uh, some of the weirdo stuff. That Andrew dude, the dude, the <laughs> Asian guy that was wealthy and just talked about like ejaculating all the time and not ejaculating and causing <laughs> and tantric <laughs> orgasms and like i was what who what i mean he looks like he comes back unreal yeah remember they had like the party where like some of they always have like parties oh yeah they yeah, bring yeah, people yeah. back i think he makes an appearance oh boy i didn't watch the preview so it's like because in the beginning bill i was like man this guy's like super interesting and then when he was like i like to climb uh so I climbed like a skyscraper via a um a crane, and I was that's like, what I found my love for wildlife photography. I was like, oh boy, yeah. I, I've watched a lion rip. Okay, okay, let's say was like when he was putting the eye drops in. What was he like? What was that? I wrote? He dumped himself in eye drops because he's never cried before. I think he's a robot. <laughs> he he literally mad. told her that he would be her sex teacher. Like this was like yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotta worry about it, like people like that. Can't wait to see him come back. That'll be. Dude, okay. He's coming back. I saw I'm him. Saying, I can't wait. It's gonna be good TV. Yeah, especially, um, especially with it. Bartice is like rifting, rift, like going towards Raven. It's it's collision course. That's so Raven. Uh, I mean, that's what I have. Do you have anything else you want to comment on? Uh, not really. I like that they changed locations this time. Yeah, uh, but they really downgraded on like, hey, let's go to California. <laughs> <laughs> instead of like mexico or something um i'm hoping next episode they hang out more like not at a bar like i want them to like pl- they played volleyball one time or something like i want them to do like the yeah the sitting online. around with each other and yeah. stuff and getting drunk that way and yeah. then kind of yeah i think that would be fun as well um 
yeah i think i'm looking forward so it's what gonna be every wednesday every wednesday for i think it's three or four weeks yeah, so it, it's such a good show if you especially if this is the first time you're seeing it on this video it's 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 worth going back and looking at those season one and two yeah. yeah season one even has like some like one especially real keeper couple so it does yeah. prove the concept of the show it does work if you get the right people uh check out our other content this week two episodes of bachelor in paradise we're gonna have survivor the challenge amazing race the jersey shore season finale uh mass singer I think that's it. A lot of stuff, though. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, we'll space it out over the next few days. Uh, you're seeing this uh, probably on Thursday. So a lot of the stuff we mentioned will be coming out either already or within the next day or two. So look out for all that content. Uh, but for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace. Hey, everybody.